Boeing's 787 Dreamliner, does it become more of a potential nightmare each time the aircraft takes off? Well, that is just one of the worrisome questions swirling around an airplane that was designed to keep Boeing's market positioned and profits flying high for years to come. A whistleblower has come forward claiming Boeing cut corners with its 777 and 787 Dreamliner jets. Sam Salapur, an engineer at the company for more than a decade, warns that these flaws could prove catastrophic as the airplanes age. On Tuesday, he told reporters about unacceptably large gaps that he saw between fuselage panels. He said, and this is the quote, Boeing hid the problem by pushing the pieces together with force to make it appear like the gap didn't exist. I literally saw people jumping on the pieces of the airplane to get them to align. That's not how you build a plane. Well, this all comes at a turbulent time for Boeing. Just two weeks ago, the company CEO, Dave Calhoun, and other senior executives said that they are stepping down after questions were raised about the safety of their airplanes. In January, you may remember, a door panel blew off an Alaska Airlines 737 MAX in midair. Calhoun said that the incident was a watershed moment for Boeing. Well, for more, I'm joined now by Jeff Wise. He's an aviation journalist and host of the Deep Dive MH370 podcast. It's good to have you with us. Let me just ask you, um, a watershed moment for Boeing. What exactly does that mean? Well, I mean, it's one of a bunch of watershed moments, really. I mean, I'm sure you all remember the 2018 and 2019 737 MAX crashes that killed over 300 people. That was really, I think, the, uh, the, the penny drop moment when a lot of people realized, hey, may, maybe something's not so good with these planes. And then, yeah, there's been, I mean, things had quieted down somewhat. I mean, I think pe it's people had, the, 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 those two awful incidents were sort of receding into people's memories when this door plug thing happened over mm -hmm. Oregon and that kind of just really uh, reawakened people to their concerns. And, and now we, we have this latest whistleblower from Boeing and, and his claims that the Dreamliner is basically made of parts that don't fit together properly and the plane could possibly break apart in mid-flight as it ages. I mean, have you ever heard a, a former industry insider go public with such a damning indictment before? Yeah, unfortunately, we've heard it a lot, actually. We've heard it for years. Uh, whistleblowers have been coming forward about the 787 production line in particular. In fact, just last month, a whistleblower killed himself in a parking lot uh, as he was in the midst of uh, undergoing deposition for a lawsuit. So th this is part of a you know frustratingly long series of reports um, and claims, and they have substance. I mean, after whistleblowers came forward about that production line, the FAA looked into it and found that, yes, uh, there, were, there were really grounds for concern, and they actually stopped production uh, at this facility for a while. So this is not, unfortunately, new. The, this latest whistleblower, he is scheduled to testify next week in Washington before a congressional um, committee. What impact, if any, will, will this have on passenger safety? I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, though, what's the point at this stage? You mean and these planes have already been built and he's raising concerns about planes that are already flying? Yeah, right. Well, we don't know. I mean, frankly, based on just on these preliminary reports, what he is saying, the extent now he's not saying that these planes are going to fall apart tomorrow, mm -hmm. but these planes are designed to fly for 50 years. And so when you're talking about a 35 year old, a 40 year old, a 45 year old plane, are they going to make it to 50 years? I mean, every time a plane lands and then takes off, it's called a cycle and it mm -hmm. stresses the engineering of that plane. Right? If, you bend, if you bend a paperclip back and forth, like after a certain number of flexes, it breaks. And mm -hmm. that's the same of, of parts in an airplane too. How much stress can this thing take before it breaks? And what he's basically saying is these were not made as they had were designed to be made, and therefore these stresses are going to cause failure earlier than expected. Now, yeah. these are fairly new airplanes, and so I don't think they're anywhere near their design life span, even if they were improperly made. Mm -hmm. So I think 
in this circumstance, what's clearly going to have to happen, and I think this will happen, is that the FAA will review what's done, uh, what condition these planes are in, suggest tests, uh, suggest repairs or replacements that need to be made. Mm. And it's going to cost money. It's going to take time. Um, but ultimately, the public will be safe. Let me ask you about time. I mean, th this latest whistleblower, he's you know, a former engineer at Boeing. You know, he, he could have gone public with this information um, earlier, years ago, but he did not. And, and we know the Dreamliner, it is a new plane, but yeah. it wasn't designed just yesterday. I mean, we're talking about years and years of engineering here. I mean, does this put his credibility and his yeah. motivations in into question? I don't think so for the, that same reason I cited earlier, which is we have heard reports like this for years. Mm -hmm. And yes, he didn't come forward right away, but other people have come forward. And I think it's important to recognize that it's not easy to come forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy just a month ago killed himself, having said that Boeing has harassed him. I think his life was quite difficult. He, I mean, listen, Yes, Boeing has been in headlines recently because their planes have problems, but they remain very, very safe airplanes. And the company remains beloved. Um, there's many people, customers, employees, um, who are familiar with this company, are familiar with the product, and they love it. Mm -hmm. And they want it to become better. They want it to overcome this period of difficulty. They want it to be the airline uh, manufacturer that it can be. If, if these accusations, if, if they are true, what does this mean about yes. oversight and, and regulation by the FAA, the Federal Aviation Authority? I mean, are these safety inspectors, are they the independent actors yeah. that they're supposed to be? Well, they clearly haven't been in the past. But the events of this past um, few months has really lit a fire under a lot of people, including the FAA, the SEC. I mean, Boeing is under scrutiny right now. Um, they're nearing the end of this three-month period that the FAA gave them back in January to say, like, you know, we're going to review uh, your operations. We want you to come up with a plan for how you are going to fix it. Mm -hmm. So this is not the start uh, of this saga. This is a, sort of a late-breaking development in a saga that's been underway for a while now. Boeing is under scrutiny. It's going to have to clean up its act. Let me ask before we run out of time. Last week's incident, this Southwest Airlines, this jet and, and engine cover breaking off as the plane was taking off. What should the flying public think? I mean, after all, statistically, flying remains the safest mode of transportation. But it doesn't feel that way. Yeah. It doesn't feel that way because in the wake of these first two crashes, in 2018 and 2019, and then this door plug incident, we are hearing these disturbing stories and we are sensitized to every single thing that happens becomes a news story now. The, 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 the paneling coming off the engine, that, you wouldn't, that wouldn't have been the news. You would never would have heard about that if it hadn't been for all these other things that are happening. So it kind of snowballs. It's like reput reputational damage is like a snowball rolling down a hill. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And... Yeah. Um, you know, it's it just it's a self it's a downward spiral, really. So Boeing's very significant job right now is to is to somehow reassure the public um, and get them to stop paying attention to minor problems like this. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Aviation journalist Jeff Wise. Jeff, we appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you.